see my email, and then the people from the independent wanted to do uh, in, uh, an interview with me, and, and and that just got me thinking about, ooh, maybe I should talk about these things. And to my surprise and, and delight, uh, Zach Fink from New York One, who used to be an intern for WBAI. Oh yeah, who used to be an intern for Wake Up Call, okay? That's where the connection is. Came over, and he already finished interviewing Randy Credico earlier, and he came over to meet up with Jay Smooth, who happens to be a classmate. Okay, that's where all the connections. This is, is the magic of this place. Yeah, who happens to be a classmate, and that's where all the magic of it is. And I know that if Jay Smooth is listening to this, he's like, "Oh God, now my spot is blown up now." <laughs> but um, but. I noticed that I saw Zach and said, hey Zach, what's up, what are you here for? You know, I'm here for Jay Smooth to talk about this. You want to talk about what's going on? And so that's what, that's what happened. And I have to say, it's, it's surreal. It, it is really, really, really surreal. But what is very heartening about this whole situation is that it goes to show you that people do pay attention to WBAI, that's first and foremost. Um, and I've been posting up videos on Facebook about what was going on upstairs. Um, but here's the bottom line. Um, yes, I'm absolutely in for making for, hoping for the injunction to, to favor WBAI. But here's the reality. WBAI, as well as Pacifica as a whole, and everything that you said earlier, I 1,000% agree. We need to realize that the model that we have right now no longer works. We need to be honest with ourselves. And I think part of the problem for what WBAI and Pacifica as a whole is, is, is experiencing right now is a bunch of well-intended individuals that can't think outside of the box. And we need to learn how to function and how to fundraise within the 21st century. And we're about to approach the third decade of the 21st century, and we're still fundraising as, it, as it's 1993. And the problem is, is that that's part of the problem. You know, the, when the bottom line is, and I'm hoping for the case to be on our side, but then we have to be honest with ourselves. What's next? Are we going to put out more Gary No green stuff uh, 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 rebroadcasts? Are we going to play uh, Christine Blasdale Boku broadcasts? No. What makes WBAI, as well as every other station in the listening area, distinctive and special is the producers that represent the communities that they all represent. That is as simple as that. You know, what y'all do here on a weekly basis, every Wednesday, hell, I listen to y'all every time, of course. In fact, encountering with y'all motherfuckers out here is just <laughs> one, of the, one of the highlights of my day on Wednesday, you know? So I, I really, I, I can honestly say that. Yes, I can honestly say that I like hanging out with the guys from off the hook. It's as simple as that. Like what? We need to get that right <laughs> yeah. So, but the but the thing is, is that we have so many opportunities, and how things turn around so quickly in order to get that TRO, in order to get the appellate court case to happen for tomorrow, really goes to show that we do have ingenuity. But our focus has to be put into the ingenuity of getting us out of the debt, and and the collective debt. It's not the debt that is exclusively WBAI, as you have mentioned, but it's the collective debt of Pacifica. Stop putting the blame on them, folks. Own what has happened, and then eventually we may can move forward with that. I don't know what the legal process of, uh, of uh, using something like a Patreon uh, as a way of a fundraising mechanism to do this for broadcast, but just throwing things like that out in the air 
is the step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And we need to understand that we are in 2019, about to go into 2020, and we're not in 1990. You know, the president, I hate to break this to y'all, the president is Donald Trump, it's not Bill Clinton. And we need to understand that because, uh, you know, uh, I don't know when the last time the Mets won the World Series, no, it was 86, 86. that's right. Yeah, so we're not living, yeah, so uh, we have to live in the present. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to break that to you. I'm traumatized now. Lifelong Mets fan, no, 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 no. That's one of my first, like, Memories of life is a little bit of a bubble. Reggie, you bring up so many, so many important points and dialogue. Yes, yeah, that's what it's about. Taking a good critical right. look at ourselves. Patreon, sub carriers, maybe that's even reconsider right. underwriting. There are, there are solutions. There are ways of, of we're figuring this out. But not if we're tearing each other apart. Absolutely. Not if we're shutting the stations down. We have to talk. We have to converse. And we have to think creatively. And the crazy idea that I flew up just in the pop of my head, you know, is it crazy enough to think that Pacifica itself can create its own social media site, mm -hmm. its own social media platform? And these what? are the money, the many things that, that I've discussed yeah. with so many people. Cheers. But I, yeah. I just want to add, um, you know, I cannot all fall on the audience and the producers, and the lot of the model <laughs> does need to change. We've, yeah. seen, we've seen other community stations work on uh, like subscription type things. Yes. Uh, uh, in other countries, and, uh, and and it does. There are other models that can work, but the fatigue of constant fundraising, that kind of thing, we we understand that, and I think a lot of producers can relate because it takes away from the ability to fully program. And if we're chasing down, you know, tote bags all the time, <laughs> what kind of show do we really end up putting putting out? So that that I would absolutely I would say that needs to be something that we explore as a community coming back together right. when we catch the car or you know and when we win. And see and what I love about your guys as well as every other show that I have ever encountered with WBAI is the idea y'all get it. Y'all get the idea that you can correlate um, uh, situations that are happening within the internet with the with the outside world and you know and and that's and because the reason for all of that is because you understand that you're representing a community but also you you're educating and informing other people who may not know certain things that is important to them and that's what this all is about it's an education process and what i'm saying is is that WBAI, the, the premium itself should be the programs and the efforts that is being put to the producer on a weekly or daily basis. And we need to understand that. We need to focus and, uh, and, and, and to admit, what direction are we gonna go? Are we gonna go and support and big up all the, uh, the producers that are putting in the hard work and the listeners that are listening to these producers? Or we are going to end up becoming and continue to be a piss poor version of the Home Shopping Network. <laughs> you know? That's really, that's what it comes down to. Thank you. Thank you.